Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Force here, and today we will be checking out Shelter. I'm a badger. I'm a honey badger. I don't care. These are my cubs. Uh, this is Shelter. This is a third-person adventure survival game. I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. A uh, third-person adventure survival game that was developed by Might and Delight, the same company who made PID, the indie platformer from 2012. Uh, I enjoyed PID, so I thought, let me give this game a look. And once I found out the concept of this game, it's uh, very cool. Like, you you play as the mother of a family of badgers. And you basically have to go around trying to keep them alive, like feeding them just like that when they're not feeling so well. And then you can, you know, talk to them. And they respond. <laughs> it's great. It's fantastic. All right. So this is Shelter. Uh, I'll be showing you guys a bit of gameplay, giving you some of my first impressions. I've played through basically the introductory level here. And uh, I just wanted to sort of show you through it and give you a, a general idea of what this game is about. This is a linear game. I guess story-driven in a sense. There's no, you know, like cutscenes or the badger's never talking to her babies or writing in her journal or anything like that. But you know, a story is unfolding and, and the ultimate goal is you're making it throughout this environment. It is a linear environment. This is an open world game. It's not a randomized game. It's nothing like that. It's a linear game where you're just taking your babies and trying to live. <laughs> and that's it. Making it from point A to point B trying to survive the wilderness as best as possible. Just kind of sneaking our way here through this little tiny opening in the, the cave, which I believe was our badger home. I'm assuming it's our badger home anyways. And uh, now we're gonna be making it out into the wild. Now, if you're wondering, Force, what's wrong with your recording? What's wrong with my screen? Everything looks whitewashed. Um, yeah, that's intentional. Uh, I took a look at screenshots. I did some research as well. I looked at footage, uh, official footage of the game, and this is just their art design. It, it's probably my one gripe, honestly, against the game so far. Because it's such an interesting concept, and, uh, you know, it just has such a unique feel to it. it nothing like a game that I've ever played before. Um, that I, I enjoy a lot, lot of, uh, lots of aspects of this game, but unfortunately this whole whitewashed art design I don't really like. And it's only the whitewashed aspect of it. Like, I think the world itself looks fine, the ar the artistic kind of slant on it, but it's the, it's the color palette that I'm not super thrilled about. Okay, so basically what happens is when you get food, all your little babies come over here and they go, yup, 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 yup. And you have to look for the one that is pretty much the least colored, the one that's sort of grayed out the most, which, mind you, is more difficult in this situation where the color palette's so messed up. So I think he's the one who needs food the most right now. And over time, as they get more and more hungry, they'll get grayer and grayer and eventually just die if you don't feed them in time. So you're just moving throughout the environment, uh, trying to find food for them. You can, as you notice here in that tutorial in the upper left, you can knock your head against a tree to drop apples down. And then that's another food source for the babies. Now you wanna make sure that you pick it up because your greedy little babies, they don't care if their brothers and sisters starve. So they'll just totally run on over and take it. So you gotta make sure that you pick it up and that you're feeding them directly. Otherwise, you'll just have two little fat baby badgers and, and then a couple that are gonna starve to death. <laughs> I don't know if they actually increase in girth the more that they eat, but I do know that uh, you can have baby badgers starve to death. And that's, that's a sad story. We don't want our babies to starve. We're a good mother, right? All right, let's get this other apple. And there they are. They're a little slow. You gotta be careful. You wanna make sure you don't outpace them because they're not the quickest, the quickest of babies. You could use some, right? Yeah, you, you eat that. You eat the apple. And then the sound. The, the little guitar strum, essentially, when he's, uh, he's fed up. And I love the little formation that they take. I feel like this is like, almost like RTS style, like, get in line, troops, <laughs> we're gonna charge. Uh, there, there is, I guess, Sort of combat. It's it's pretty much all just hunting. It's you know, it's 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 the wilderness it's Prey and predator and sometimes you're the predator sometimes you're the prey and that's actually uh, Something that comes into the equation here in this game because you do need to be careful. Where are my babies? There they are <sighs> I was worried for a second. They're just a little slow There are things that you'll be trying to escape with in the world predators that will be hunting you down so you've got to make sure that you're on top of it. Look, you see what I mean? A little fatto. <laughs> he 
<laughs> He's running over, taking it from his... Oh man, it's so rude. You gotta make... I'm trying to distribute things evenly here. See, so sh he looks the most like me, so I think he's all set. I don't think he really needs food. And what about you? You're the one that just ate, aren't you? Okay, looks like he still needed more. I think it's kind of hard to tell it's with this with the color palette. Again, it's kind of hard to tell. Three of them are looking the same, and then two of them are a little more reddish, I guess. I, I don't know. It's tough. To, that's, it's really the only thing about this game that kills it for me. I just wish things were a little more, you know, there's a little more contrast. It was a little more obvious, the, the color. I wish there was a little more pop visually to the environment. And it's especially noticeable in these caves. The whitewash color palette is especially, especially noticeable. But yeah, that's, I mean, that's about it. The, the gameplay is fairly simplistic. I think the part of this game that I that I enjoy the most, the part of this game that kind of shines through for me, is just, it, it's something different. It's very re refreshing when you get a video game that does something different than what you're used to. Now, I know there have been, like, animal survival games in the past. Um, one that I never tried that I was always in incredibly interested in was Tokyo Jungle, but I believe that game is... You could almost say more of a... Whoa! 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 Why are there only four? Whoa, 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 I'm a bad mother, I'm a bad mother, I'm a bad mother, I'm a bad mother. Where? Oh my lord. Oh, you're just stuck! Well, you get some food for that. Here you go. Take the frog leg. Jeez, I'm crawl. I was terrified for a minute. I thought one of my babies already died. So yeah, from what I from what I've seen of gameplay of Tokyo Jungle, it seems like they're, they're a lot more. Oh man, I was trying to give it to this one. He's kind of graying there. Um, seems like there's a lot more in the in the way of game mechanics. These game mechanics are quite simple from what I've played thus far. You're just walking around, exploring the environment. Uh, you've got the interact here, which does this little call for your babies, where they respond. And you have uh, a sprint, and then there's also like a crouch, which will come into play later in the video where we're trying to avoid detection from those sneaky predators. Um, but that's essentially it. And, and a game like Tokyo Jungle, from what I've seen in, in gameplay footage, uh, seems like it had much, much more depth to it in terms of the gameplay mechanics. But I think this game still definitely has its merits. And I think it's still, you know, unique and interesting in its own right. I think you're the hungriest here. Let's see if you change color here. There you go. Yeah, so definitely. So we just gotta feed that one guy right there who's graying pretty bad, and and then I think that one is kinda too. He's running around looking for food right now, so that's no bueno. Go over here. I think we wanna go up here now. But yeah, I mean, it, it's it's refreshing. That's I guess that's what I have to say. It, it's a very refreshing title compared to all the other games I'm playing every single week this is a it's a nice change of pace and hey you know what i got to admit when it comes to animals when it comes to the wilderness kind of a soft spot for me i'm i'm an animal lover i love animals i love wilderness I want to keep this planet intact for generations to come if at all possible so recycle and try to protect your family of badgers if you happen to be the mother of a family of badgers try to protect them <laughs> We want the species to go on for generations to come. Okay, I gotta knock down this apple off this tree. That is great. And I am showing you, uh, as you probably could have told, um, as you probably could tell, I, I am showing you from the very beginning of this game as we're, you know, we're going through the basics here. Those little tutorials that pop up and stuff like that. But there's a pretty big reason for that, and that's because this is a very linear game. There's pretty much one set path that you can take. Um, I don't want to spoil it for anyone who's going to want to play this title. I don't want to spoil the the unfolding of events, which we'll call a story, but it's a story without actual narration. It's a story that you just experience, if you will. Badger, 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 babies, where are you? Oh, these guys are so slow. Come on, I got an apple for you. Who's the hungriest, huh? Do your little dance for me. Let me see. I think you're getting hungry. 
You should be brightening up here, turning more like me. There you go, that's, that's, I think that was the right call. All right, we're gonna go up over here. Really, if it just, if the color palette was just brightened up a little bit, I think I would enjoy this game that much more. The whitewash is kind of bothersome for me personally. It might not bother everyone though. And it, that isn't just an artistic choice. It's a prefer preferential thing. I just don't, I don't necessarily prefer that. Okay, yes, now we must go into hunting mode. So we sneak up, we sneak up on these little rats. Or field mice is probably more like it. And then we explode! <laughs> Capture him! <laughs> oh, oh, that's great. Okay, let's see who... You, you, I think you haven't been fed in a while, there you go. And we've got a pretty big scene coming up here that I wanted to at least show you that far into the game. Let's give you some food here, there you go. And it's actually a kind of a frightening moment, so I hope you guys are prepared. We're gonna sprint our way on across though, and there's the area that we just came came across. You don't have to ever worry about falling off ledges or anything. This is one of those games where that is not an option for you. Because hey, you know, it's, it's just not that type of a game. <laughs> that would be kind of silly to be honest with you. Falling off ledge, unless there were, you know, constant checkpoints of course, but it's really not that, that type of a game. I don't think that this is a game without difficulty levels. There's no, you can't choose the difficulty, it's got one setting. I don't think it's meant to be. I mean, not that I even... It's not even that I don't think. It's pretty obvious that this is not, not meant to be like an intensely challenging experience. Just an experience in and of itself. Okay, so we've got some brush here, and this, this is the sort of stuff that we can kind of sneak around and hide into when need be. However, now it is time to really go on the hunt ourselves a fox over there and as much as I love foxes we need to feed our family so get him go get him badger go get him oh he's quick we are quicker though I don't know that we're quicker we may not be quicker in fact there's a pretty pretty good chance we're not quicker look at that look at him go can I go down here cut him off no I cannot so I'll just continue to chase him no speed boost, unfortunately. We haven't leveled up our... <laughs> our boost ability. There's no leveling up abilities. <laughs> this is not an RPG. This is real life. This is what it's like in the wild. Chasing a fox to try to feed your babies. Oh, I'm gonna get him. There's some apples right over there, but come on. Get him! Come on, get him! Oh no, okay. Where is he going? He is very fast. He, okay, I don't even, there he is. Where is he going? Gosh darn it. Make sure I don't lose my babies. All right, well, it looks like we didn't get the fox. You get away this time, fox. However, we do have our, ourselves a couple of turnips down here. I know my babies love those. Let's get one of these here. Come here, babies. Come here, I know you love your turnips. You love your turnips. Who's the grayest? Where are the other two? Oh, for the love of God. Where are the rest of the babies? Bobbins. You guys, what are you doing? You can't play up here when it's time for dinner. Here you go. You look like you're the hungriest. Okay, guys, we need to stick together. Well, that's clearly a problem. Baby's clipping. <laughs> Baby's running into trees. That's a problem. I guess it's probably because I'm just sprinting too fast, trying to chase that fox. I mean, I had a couple apples, you know, I had a turnip. I don't know that getting the fox was really necessary, but, you know. The tutorial icon told me to do it, so that's why I went for it. I totally went for it. Alright, guys, we gotta navigate our way through this ravine here. Carved out by water, maybe? I don't know. Maybe not. And then we've got ourselves a big open field. 
Oh no. Oh no, that giant that giant bird just took the he just took the fox. And there's a silhouette and he is chasing us. And here is an example <laughs> of being the prey for once. Spent the first part of this video being the predator, but now we're the prey and we got to try to stay away from this bird of prey. I'm guessing Guessing he's an eagle? Could be a hawk as well though, I suppose. Baby, stay within the shrubbery! And so the uh, general concept here is avoid that overhead shadow, and I've tried to look up to see him, it's not... I don't think it's really possible. I don't even know if there, there would be a physical model up in the sky. I, I'm pretty sure it's just a shadow here. Stylized shadow as well. He's a transparent bird, apparently. That's sort of how the whole game is stylized, with shapes and patterns, so... It's pretty cool, and this game is pretty cool as well. You know, again, it's definitely very simplistic in terms of the gameplay mechanics. The concept behind it is quite simple as well, but it's different. And to me, that makes it refreshing. It's also an indie title. Priced pretty low. Uh, I think you'll clearly know, though, if this is something that you're interested in. It's a linear game. Story-driven in, in the sense of the story that unfolds as you play throughout it and um, and that's that's all there is to this game there's no multiplayer there's no open sandbox mo mode and nothing like that it's just the story of you as a mother badger trying to survive in the wild and protect your babies get down babies gosh he almost took us it's like we've got a refuge over here in the, the little cavernous area let's try to make our way through Babies, you still coming? I think they are. Babies, I don't see you. I guess I can't see myself either, and just because you can't see it doesn't mean it doesn't exist, right? It's like gravity. There you guys are. Stay low. Okay, let's go, 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 go! Get in here! Get in here, baby! Okay. That was close. Right, looks like we only have a little bit more distance to cover. Over here! Get down. Oh no. Oh gosh, I do not know. He just swooped down. Did I lose someone? You know, it's not gonna be the worst brother of the year. Let's go over here, babies. Go, go! Looks like all five are still alive. We're good. I was a little concerned for a minute. Where's he? Just get down, crouch down. There's, there he is. Swooping around like a giant evil bird of prey that he is. Let's make a sprint. I don't think he's over here right at the moment. Duck down, duck down. Stay under cover. He can't see you. He can't see you. Oh, this is a bad spot to be. Oh no. There we go. Whew. Oh no. I gotta make it all the way across there. This is a dangerous. Okay, go, 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 go. He's coming. Go. Babies. Babies, get down. <sighs> This has been Force, checking out Shelter, the third-person adventure survival game by Might and Delight, where you play as a mother badger trying to survive in the wilderness with her babies. No, babies, get back in! I didn't realize it was so close. Uh, you know, it's, it's unique, it's refreshing, it's different, not super thrilled about the color palette, and it is very, very simplistic in terms of gameplay mechanics. However, I still see value in a game like this, uh, if you're a person who thinks they could enjoy this type of an experience. So the game is available now for $9.99. And let's just go ahead and cross this log. What could possibly go wrong? Uh-oh. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you like the content, please subscribe. And as always, keep watching and keep owning. All right, babies, you got to stay close. You got to stay close. It's nighttime. The stars are out. We can literally see the galaxies. This is one crazy universe we're in. We can... That is pretty crazy. <laughs> well, you gotta stay close. There's lots of predators out here at night. So I don't want you wandering off. Whoa! Okay. Careful. Stay within my light radius, please. That's your protection. I love you, babies. I love you.